found another couple I've marked them off here and I'll just show you these are um, ooh, thousand mic thousand microfarads and uh, 35 volts no, 16 volts so I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get the light on there a bit better uh, not that it really matters too much but so that's what we're looking at let me just pack that out of there again if I can and we'll take a peek at these so we can see they're here so we've got the one here that's the positive that's the negative and that's the positive that's the negative so let's get our little meter on this is great for being able to test in the circuit and not normally able to do that uh, so that's the negative there, and that's the positive. And we can see it look good if C, the capacitance, is less than a thousand microfarads. Uh, we're not, we're a thousand, so that's got to come out. And we've got a negative there and a positive there. And again, good if C is less than a thousand microfarads. So again, that one's got to come out as well. All right, but that's it. That's that's all I can find. This is the bottom board. You don't often get to see the bottom board out. Um, I've seen some videos with these rivals, but never with the bottom board out. Uh, quite surprising. You'd think you'd see some big old, you know, some big old uh, transistors in there, whether it be a MOTFEST, MOSFET, um, or a uh, BJ, BJT. They're quite small. They're IRF 510s, I believe. I'll just take a peek at that again. Uh, 5210s, even. Not 510s, 5210s. So. We've got two channels on here. Um, I'm not sure which one's which. This one here, even though it looks like it's got a couple of bigger transistors on there, they're not. They're, um, these are actually... Uh, so that's going to be the ground, that's going to be positive, and then it's going to be the AC connectors, positive ground and AC connectors. And we can tell the ground from the big old, it comes through the ground here on this. I've already taken this out, uh, just to check, just to see what the actual millifarad, uh, microfarads is on there. It's, yeah, it's, it's good enough. Um, let me see there's some etched off parts. Where they've been lasered off. And you see that? There's got a few parts like that across the board. I suppose the, some of these companies don't want their work being copied by others. They just make it a little bit more difficult for them. So that's it. Yeah, there's a. Uh, that, that's really all I can find. I did think about changing them all, but it works out to be more than £70 to do that. So I decided just to go with the ones that I can tell need doing then I'm just going to tackle that one at the front then um, but I'm going to get these swapped out now I don't have any exact replacements what I've got is um, a couple of thousand microfarads different voltage rating um, but this should still be okay fingers crossed this isn't for anything too crucial he says right let me get with swapping that round so this is something I've noticed. Uh, so this is the offending um, power supply. And I've put in roughly, or not the way that it's going to be, because I need to get through this solder. Look, So I've just plugged in these capacitors and uh, did a test. No difference. I also did quite a lot of... Let me just grab that. I also stuck a nice big V-shape filter cap on the main cap. I'm still yet to swap these ones out um, because I didn't get them. What I did do was I got these caps. I swapped these these ones out. Those I've swapped these ones out. And I think there's another one around here somewhere, maybe not. But of course, the, the big main cap again. And I did the check, like I say, I put those in the back of there. I did the check, and it's still the same. It's still got noise on the output. So, I in my, um, in my, uh, thingy-majiggy, 
my basket on far now. I've got all the other components that I need. But look what I noticed, like, I took, I took apart the other one, the one that would normally be sat behind that little uh, MESR meter. And look what they've got on there. So these caps are 100 nanofarads and they're film caps and what they're doing is one's connected there the yellow wire which is positive to channel 2 and it's bridged from channel 2 to the earth and then the other one is bridged from the earth to the negative of channel 1. I don't know whether they're being used to sink AC Ripple to sink it straight to the ground. Um... But on this, they're not there. And, ne and they never have been. If you look at the, the silver, look, the um, solder, it's beautiful. They've never had those there. So I'm wondering now whether that's what this is missing and whether that noise has always been on the system or not. Because I'm changing all these caps out. It's not really making any difference. And I'll, I may as well just redo these. Like I said, I've got it ordered in the basket. Um, but what I do want is because sometimes you'd think that some of these caps, I mean, that's a little bit messy, I'm going to clean that up. Um, it's the smaller ones like these 100 mics and me here, they turn into right proper pains in the backside, and I don't want to damage the board, so I've decided to get myself one of these vacuum solder suckers, not the hand one, the electric ones. Um, we're going to give it a go with that, and then I can suck off. Um, a lot of that solder as well so I can actually put those caps in properly and get the right I think they're the wrong ripple uh, when they're I think on these they're 350 milliamp ripple current ripple on them and the ones that came off when I looked them up I think they were 680 milliamp and so I will have to uh, replace them but yeah that's something that uh, I need to do now. I'm wondering whether to put all this back together again, put this all back together again. Um, if you wanted to have a little look just while I've got this bit of video running, but this is what this looks like out. Um, there's not a great deal to see. Uh, that's just the back of it, which is with that board missing. I'm going to put that over here and uh, take a peek at that. That's near enough the same. There are a few differences. If you wanted to, you could. Uh, Look up, have a little look, and you'll see. You can see one stark difference. I'll point it out there. See that cap there? Yep, it's not on the other one. And uh, I do believe there's a few more little differences. Look at those little tiny capacitors there. Let me zoom in on that. See, so let me steady that up. Look at them all. Wow, they're the same over here. Not even gonna bother trying to get into all that, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. They've got a different color on the board as well. Slightly, this is the older version, this is the new version, or the newer version. I expect 2024's version is gonna be slightly different as well. The boards themselves, uh, that's the bottom board, and the bottom board's still in the in the, uh, the thing, I've got a top board here. This top board is from the newer version. And this top board, uh, if I turn this around like this and zoom out. Can I zoom out? Yep. Uh, and you'll see straight away, I suppose, you might see that the main cap is in a different place. There's some differences here. Uh, on this compared to over here on this uh, all of the connection side is still pretty much the same on both of them but there's some differences down here as well on this side this this is the older board this one here look you can see it 2014 on there and you got more fuses there there's four we can see right there and on here there's only one Oh, no, 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 these, I think they're fuses, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're fuses, so there's another one there, so there's, oh, they've still got four fuses. They're just different style of fuse, different types of fuses, but most of the rest of the stuff looks pretty much the same, apart from this has been laid down there, where on that side it's not. 
Yeah, some subtle differences. Big bit of heat sink missing from there. But there you go. That's uh, just a quick look at that, and that's just a little bit added. So, yeah, I think what I might do is I might put it back together again and just try these. I've got some. Um, let me just shift this out of the way. Shift this out of the way. I can't really get the boards mixed up because it says the dates on there. But this is the older board, version two. And as you can see, look, 2014. And the other one's version three, zero three. This one's version, no, the old one's version two, zero two. Uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, see, I've got some of these little V shay. Uh, they're hundred. Microfarads, I don't know they're a different style, but it's still a film capacitor. It might even be a better quality than what's on there. And I got these little, uh, pretty sure these are Panasonic. These are 100. Uh, nanofarad as well. 10.4. So uh, they're Panasonic, so I'm going to try those two out. But what I might do is just put it all back together again and then just connect them directly across here. One from here to here, the other one from there to there. And that'll be the correct way around connecting them. And then give it a go again and see what happens. Okay, so going off the, uh, let me just cancel this out. So going off the, um, the that last little clip, I decided I'll put it back together again, as you can see. Uh, everything seems okay. Let me just tell you something quick about this. This one goes on the newer board. This is the... Uh, FLX. It's only got three cables. The other one that's in here, because uh, it's cheaper than one of these, it's got four cables, the PWM uh, jobby. This does not work in here. It comes up and says uh, that the fan's not working. Well, it's wrong. This one works in the newer board, the 2018 board, and uh, it doesn't need a resistor, where this, the fan that's inside this one needs a resistor. Uh, across it in order to give it a, a larger load in order for it not to think that the fan's not in there That's just something interesting when it comes to the uh, different boards and the fans There's no other reason and there's no reason why this one shouldn't work uh, I'm sure that one there will work on the other board But it just doesn't work on there, but that's not what this little clips about this clip is about this So these are on I can turn them off first not make any difference just keeping on this. This is in the AC range and that's the uh, frequency. Let me see if I can just make that a little bit better for us to see. If I put it down or in front. Ah, there, yeah, so I had it in the best place. I could put it anyway. Start off with that, I'll do it. I'll just turn that in a bit more like this. So we're in, uh, we're in um, AC, right? So I'm just gonna go from here to here. And we can see there, we've got 1.7 volts on the AC. And if I turn the power on, we've now got 2.2 volts on the AC, that's too much. But if I go, oh, you can't see that thing down there now, can you? Let's just go out a bit, there we go. So this is where I was, I was on the, posi I was on the positive here of channel 2, on the negative here of channel 1, and we get that across it, because remember I'm using these two together. But now if I go to Earth, with this ground. Look at that. That actually says 55.2 volts AC at 49.93 hertz. If I change this around and go from here to here, 53.1, not far off. And if I, on the power, 56.4. I think I found the problem. 59. That's volts AC. Uh, let me just put that across there again. And we got 2.2 volts AC as our output. Um, that would take, yeah, that would uh, be a lot of noise. That would be a lot of noise. What can we do about that? Oh. I'm going to turn this off now, and I'm just going to undo these. And this is just the first one I've tried. If I can find it, oops, come back. And all I'm going to do is I am going to put this capacitor, 100 nanofarads, 
film capacitor across the output there and I'm going to put that one across that output there and then just tighten these up okay so we've got nice connections on there first of all we'll just check it without any power on of course it will get worse probably with the load but we're going to just check it without any power on so what do we see on this side and this side I think we had 2.2 volts or something wasn't it there you go 0.58 if I go from there to there 1.1 and if I jump across here to here 0.5 0.58, and if I turn it on, 0 0.55, 1.19, 1.19, just 0.55. Well, that's interesting enough in itself, the way it's actually brought those we don't have 56 volts anymore, that's for sure. That's a massive difference. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up, uh, I might actually do this in the morning because I've been enjoying a, a rather nice Polish premium beer. And um, so I might do it in the morning and I'll set up the amplifier. I, I will do it in the morning uh, before I go to do, do anything else. And I will uh, set up the amplifier again and we'll see how much noise we get on the uh, output when we're doing the test. So here we are back. We've got um, both power supplies on. This was the the faulty one, and this is the one that I generally use. And as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So what we're going to do is, I've already just been playing around with this on the on light here. And let me, I see if I can just bring this over, make things look a little bit brighter. These are the caps I've taken out. These are the, Big main caps, all these are, you know, whatever brand that is. It, it, these are the Sam Young TDA Korea, but also made in China. Oh, we've got some 100 nanofarads there, we've got a thousand mics, a 220s, a bunch of, uh, I think these are the 220s, are they? Yeah, two, two 200s, sorry. And some three 200s. All of them are uh, in actual fact caps on is the main brand. Let me get this lighting right for you. Caps on is the main brand in uh, in the new one in this one down here, not this uh, Samyong KMGs and TDAs. I think I just said that right. TDAs. KMGs is are uh, and these ones are yeah the Samyong TDA. Uh, all 105 and what I've done is uh, the main caps these things I've viche I've put in and it's the rest of them are Panasonic, Rubicon and Nijicon I will uh, possibly share the list actually um, I'll probably just stick it up on the community thing right so let's see let's see what we've managed to do all right, so this is on. I'm just going to get this going again over here. So we take a peek at the screen. And here we are with it power on. And we are just going to start going up. Just so we get an idea of what it looked like on this bottom one, on the working one. Let's go, I think it's about 59.60 we can go to. Yeah. And there we go. That's what we got. And if I just... Pause up there, take the pressure off the system. And this is what we have. This is what our output looks like. Generally, most of the floor is under 120. And we've got a 0.5 at 3.2. Maybe I could just make that go one higher. I can't do it on there, but we go 2.7 and we got 0.5. All right, a point at um, minus 2.7 dBFS. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the frequency response. Just hit that there. 
and nice play. Uh, we're going to see if we can adjust this down from here. No, it's a bit of a pain sometimes doing this where you got to just move this up and down. Hit it again. Let's see, we've got our movement, and then I can hopefully yeah, bring that in like that. So just bear with me while I just get this in range. I'm going completely the wrong way. Get that in range. And this top wants to go down. And this wants to go down here. Yeah. It is a pain, as you can see, but it's worth it once we get it in. Uh, three, and then we should be able to just drop this to three. There we go. And I'm going to get that a bit closer to this 60. 59 should be it, but it's going to be slightly above the line. All right, so that's that's what we got. And, you know, that, um, that does look a little bit noisy in there, the truth be told. That does look a bit noise. Let me just do a little compare and contrast with the before I did. I'm going to look at the V shape. Uh, that's that is a little bit noisier actually than that. But this is when I had the caps on the front. Uh, in the last clip you'd have seen, but I hadn't done the bottom board. I'd only done the top board, channel two. Um, channel one, sorry, was the top board. And channel two is the, um, the bottom board is channel two and three. And I hadn't done that, and that's what we got back from that. Uh, and that's also the, uh, that's at 3.2.75. That's without the bottom board being done. Let me just get rid of that again so I don't get confused. And now, because we've looked at the, from there to there, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna switch, I'm going to switch power supplies. I'll turn that off. I'll just make sure the tracking is on on this. Track set, uh, on off synchronization, yep, so that's on. And then put this up here. All the caps in this bottom one are caps on. C A P X on. Uh, X O N. Right, so let's turn this on. Okay. Uh, we're getting back to the screen. We may as well just, as we've already got set up here, we can see what the frequency response here. This is, you know, this is, uh, this is, this is not as good as what you'd like to see. Uh, let's do a quick hit of this then with the other power supply. Hmm. Wow. That's much better. Sorry, I'm. That's much better. That is much better. I've. Um, yeah, that's much better. All right, so let's have a look at the. Just turn it up gradually. Bum, 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 bum. And hit that there. Oh, we'll have to adjust that again. All right, that looks about the same ish. Let's start going up. Uh, going up. Um, so, I mean, this is, uh, look, this is minus six, 0 0.018. Uh, I expect to see it jump up, because we do get that when it jumps up on the noise level. Uh, I'm going to 60. And uh, at minus 2.8, we got uh, 0 0.32. Let's just turn that off there. 0 0.32. Well, that is better. That is better. That's uh, now actually because it's the it's the same test, um, you know, the the same setup for the test. Uh, this, you know, there's no change. There's no nothing. Why is I haven't even moved? I've already moved. You know, 
six or seven inches from there to there, that's not going to make that amount of difference. So basically what we're looking at is the performance of the power supplies, not this. This is just what we're using to test the power supplies because I don't have differential probes and all the other kit that you may need for doing that. Um, <laughs> and so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the power supply um, outputs and the differences we can see starkly by using a setup like this to be able to see them on the output there. And we can see now that this top power supply, the one that I've recapped and put some caps from a cap from here, 100 nanofarads from here to there and another cap from here to there. Or look at it either way you like, but we're just bridging it across um, to sort of like shunt the AC that we had into Earth, into Earth ground. Let's put a graph up there, let's just cancel that. Uh, so now this one is actually performing better than this one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I may have to, I'm, well I'm going to have to, it's It'll drive me nuts if I don't, I'm going to have to recap that. Goes to show the difference though, doesn't it? On the capacitors. It goes to show the difference. There's nothing showing any sort of faultiness with the capacitors in here. Um, nothing. There was a few in there. Uh, that is the difference with the capacitors. Um, And that's not bad. Um, I bought this, it was £225. I then got it reduced to £175. I got a £50 uh, refund because I complained that it was no good to me and I was going to be sending it back. And Or, you know, you can drop me off a bit of money on it because um, I'm going to have to spend, you know, £100 recapping it. So that was very good of them. So when you think about that, and then about £90, probably a little bit less than £90 actually on the caps, but the, the V-shape, the big blue V-shape, they're all 105C and they're all sort of 5,000 hours or up. They're the cap capacitors that I've put in. And they've all got a slightly higher ripple specification as well, ripple current specification, or current ripple, I should say, specification. Um... Uh, so this will probably outlast me, which is great. And uh, so, yeah, roughly about £90. So we say, um, so uh, 175 plus 90 is 165. Uh, 265, so that's what that sort of cost me against the um, you know, sort of four and a half hundred. Who going to buy one? So yeah, pretty pleased at that. And I also bought myself a new toy. Um, I say it's a toy, it's nice, it's a great bit of kit. This is a desoldering gun, a vacuum. Jobby desoldering gun made by Multicomp. Uh, when I first opened the box and I saw that thing, I thought, wow, that's big. Um, but it works really, really well. I mean, sometimes you can play around for a time um, trying to get these caps out. And you're always in fear of, oops, I've left half that there. Always in fear of, this is really nice and heavy, this is. Always in fear of damaging the board. And I've got quite a few projects that I'd like to be able to retake apart again without fear of damaging the board and that thing's going to allow me to do that. Just being able to take components off these boards and be able to swap them out with different components so we can um, a lot easier now um, without fear of damaging the board is going to make my life so much better. All right that's it if you got this far thank you very much. Uh, for watching and I hope everybody that's got one of these, the older ones, you'll realise that you've got noise. I don't know how they managed to come out with those specifications. I think in the ideal world of 350 micro volts, noise and ripple. Um, RMS is if it's, uh, if it's all good and like shown earlier in the video, this doesn't even have, never has had the caps on the back of it like this one does. Um, in order to, you know, get rid of that, uh, that AC. So, yeah, ideal worlds, I suppose. Right, I'm off. Catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Take care, everybody.